allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I couldn't figure out what two things you can eat for breakfast. Well, Jackson, you can't eat lunch or dinner for breakfast. Now it's time for Teddy Ball Game footage on the Patty Sports Show highlighting my brother Teddy Ball Game. Yeah. Hey, we got the Yankees. Uh, that's right, Teddy Ball Game, they made me chuckle a little bit. Yeah, man. Yeah, I got, got me smiling. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing all right. How are you? All right, I'm good. I'm good. Our, our desk here is getting a little overcrowded. Yeah, and Yankees, huh? Yeah. But that's pretty cool. We'll talk about them in a minute. But meanwhile, what you got going on? Oh, we got a lot in sports this weekend. The Eagles flew past the New York Jets. Good. 31 to 6. Yeah. Nathan Gary had a pick six. Rodney McLeod McLeod took a strip sack to the house as the Eagles defense kept the Jets in check. Mr. Harrington, probably not really happy with those Jets this year. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough one, man. When your quarterback goes down, everyone else got to step it up. But in a quarterback's hard to replace, and I don't even know who that backup is. Hopefully, Sam Darnold's back. And we got the Bears took a tough loss this weekend to the Oakland Raiders. 24-21, the Bears clawed their way back from a 17-0 deficit, but came up short as Joshua Jacobs rushes for 123 yards, two touchdowns, no answer for that guy. I blame jet lag. Jet That's lag. the answer. Bears don't fly. They were forced to fly. They played over in London. They flew on Friday, had to turn around and play on Sunday. Jet lag. We'll be back next week. So the Raiders didn't have that jet lag? Well, Raiders see their pirates and they, they sail on the ship. Oh, they sail. That's probably okay. how they got there. <laughs> Fantasy football news Teddy ball game. Mrs. Cook, Mrs. Kerbaugh, Mr. Gilbert, Mrs. Pillow, Mrs. Braxton, Mr. Harrington, Mrs. LaBelle were the big winners this week. Mr. Gilbert remains undefeated at 5 and 0. Oh. I mean, his scores are just it's astronomical. astronomical. It's unreal. Why am I not on that list? Uh, you did win. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Again, yes. And Mr. Gilbert was talking about trading Aaron Jones and how bad he wants him off his team, and then I think he scored like twice oh, now. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, good for him. Good for him. We're good sports here. And we got a lot of baseball going on in the playoffs. St. Louis Cardinals tied up their series with the Braves last night, or yesterday, 5-4 win. Yep, still picking the Braves. Tampa Bay Rays stayed alive with a 10-3 win over the Astros. No chance. Nationals beat the Dodgers last night 6-1, to one, even the series at two games apiece. That's a big one. And the Yankees swept the Twins three games to zero with yeah. a 5-1 victory last night. Wait, no, Ryan Zimmerman, there you go, everybody. Ryan Zimmerman is an absolute stud, man. In that time, I don't know if you guys saw that at all, but that pressure situation when everyone's watching you and the pressure is on, that's when it's time to step up. That's not the time to like cower and get all nervous and anxious and sad or upset. No, you step up and say, hey, I'll do it. Sometimes you fail, but most times you'll succeed. And he succeeded in a big way. It was awesome. Definitely. The Yankees are just crushing it, man. They're still my pick to go to the World Series with the Dodgers. And we got Yankees of our own right here who are crushing it in their Little League baseball team. What's your record, guys? Uh, Something in O? 23 and 4. That was, but they're winners, something to know. I don't think you guys have lost the game, right? No. no. See, here's, here's what's cool is, first of all, you guys are teammates in school and out of school, which I think is pretty awesome. Not only that, but boys and girls, Patty Panthers are winners. No matter what we do, we're winners and we own it. We, do we know in our minds we're just a little bit better than the next guy. Does that mean we brag about it? No. Nope. Does that mean sometimes we lose? Yep. Yes. But most times we're going to win and we're going to be confident about it. And that is awesome. So I'm proud of you guys. But don't forget what's important here. Winning and losing the right way. Winning and losing with pride, right? All right. You guys ready to make some picks here? Yes. Tomorrow night we have two game fives. We have the Nationals and the Dodgers. Who's going to win? Nationals or Dodgers? Nationals. 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 All Nationals All picks Nationals. right there. Nationals. All right, our other game five to, uh, tomorrow night, Braves and Cardinals. Who's taking it? Cardinals! 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 Cardinals
pretty much a sweep of the yeah. Cardinals. All right, maybe Cardinals and Nats. That would ruin my entire bracket. But these guys are winning right now, and the Luch is on a losing streak, so you're probably right. Hey, boys and girls out there, have a great day. Don't forget, together we are. Happy